In this video, I'm going to share the best practices to use cursor that I use in all of my projects. And that actually saves me a lot of time. It's like training cursor as your personal AI agent and telling it everything about your project and all of the requirements about your project, giving all of that to cursor. So cursor can actually perform better and you can get maximum out of cursor. Before we continue, please do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I spent so much time in recording all of these videos. All right, I have created this detailed list of points, um, all of these seven different points. I'll actually walk you through one by one. So the first point is actually planning before you start coding. What do you mean by planning? Planning means if you're actually going to start maybe work on your side project or something from scratch. So you need to like understand before you start creating your project on cursor or before you actually like start uh, coding and programming inside cursor you need to plan your project way ahead uh, even doesn't matter if, if it's like a, uh, it's like a very basic project maybe a to-do list app so what you can do is actually you can simply open uh, something like Microsoft Paint and you can like explain uh, your idea your concept in very simple like just give some sort of like idea to cursor that that what will be basic interface of your project so maybe you can like create something like this or maybe they just like create something basic either you can use MS Paint or you can use something like Miro and you can just like and uh, drag and drop some some boxes here and give it some some sort of design or uh, what best what i use is actually i use versal so you can ask versal to like generate some sort of like a, a blueprint for you so let's suppose if if you're just creating a basic sas calculator so versal is sorry it's a v0.dev is actually um um, um, it's a it's a it's a front end design tool that I use. I have been using this in all of my projects. It saves so much time, and I don't need a front end designer anymore because it does everything for me. So you can just let, let's suppose if you had this uh, idea in your mind that you have to create a SaaS pricing calculator, and you asked uh, Vizero.dev that generate an interactive pricing calculator. So it has now created an interactive pricing calculator, including uh, this uh, uh, TypeScript code and everything. So let's suppose if you had like this idea, you can simply now you got like this um, kind of uh, front end for you. So yeah, so you got you got this. So let's suppose if your if your uh, project has multiple pages, so you can actually create ask it to like create multiple pages, at least kind of a blueprint uh, for your for your for your project. Uh, so yeah, so so you need to do very like detailed kind of like drawings or planning or some sort of like a sample code or sample uh, structure for your project before you start creating your project. Actually, so. The next step is actually uh, using cursor dot directory. This is absolutely, absolutely very, very important. What you have to do, just go to cursor dot directory or just go on Google, search for cursor directly as soon as you click on that. And this is actually the cursor directory. What is cursor directory? This is a this is the guideline for cursor. Uh, you are actually going to train and fine tune cursor that what um, uh, you, he's going to do in that particular project. So for each project, it will be different. So if you're developing maybe a React project or maybe a Python project, or I don't know, like a Next.js product, uh, project or a, a PHP project. So you can give uh, like guideline to cursor that you are an expert in Laravel PHP uh, related web development technologies. Key principles write concise uh, concise techno technical response with accurate PHP uh, PHP example. So let's suppose if you're going to develop it in next.js, so you can simply copy it from here. And next step is we can open chat GPT or Claude or whatever you are using. So you simply just open that and you can just ask chat GPT to uh, here is just give it a context that um, I am developing a to do list app in cursor I am in cursor in next.js I am going to create a cursor rules app cursor rules file here's the sample content for that Please optimize it. Please update it as per my requirements. So let's suppose if you are going to use MongoDB, I'm going to use MongoDB or any other supervisor or any, any other. So you can just uh, like mention that and now ask ChatGPT to do that. So ChatGPT will, uh, will actually just simply 
uh, update it uh, based on your project requirements. This is very important because this is very generic and now you have explained it that you are going to create a, a to-do list app using uh, a MongoDB uh, uh, as, as, your, as, your, as your database. So you have asked it to create, uh, like update it for you. So it will actually update for that for you. If you have any further requirements, you can ask it uh, any further requirements, but so far, uh, so. Now you can simply uh, open your uh, project here and after you open your project, simply go click on here, click on add new file, click on dot C-U-R-S-O-R rules, dot cursor rules, just open that and click on that and then simply copy and paste that. So simply you can just create this uh, dot cursor rule. So now cursor will actually understand uh, in cursor anything that you add in cursor rules file uh, it will understand what you are looking to develop what next you can do you can actually create uh, create a detailed requirements document for my project so now you can actually provide cursor with your requirements so uh, have a detailed requirements. It will actually create detailed requirement requirements for your project. So have a detailed requirements and um, then you need to just tell that to cursor. So we are just like training cursor about your project right now. So what you can do, you can just simply create a new file called requirements dot md requirement yes or dot md. All right, you open that and just copy all of your project requirements from here you can just like review all of these i'm just like giving you an idea that how you can uh, do this so you can simply copy all of these requirements and paste it directly into your project so it's giving you very detailed requirements i think fine we are fine until here so let's just copy it from here and then let's just paste it here as it is save and now we got requirements so every time now you have you're going to actually ask about something are you actually going to give context to uh, cursor you can simply mention this requirements.md file in there it will go through that and it will create code or create project files or project structure for you based on these requirements so this is really really helpful when it comes to your creating something complex or something like serious um so yeah so this is very very important so yeah next step is actually you can do you can do tag documentation so let's suppose for this particular project i i am actually developing this project in nextjs so simply you can just go to nextjs documentation page this is nextjs documentation page you can copy this page and simply tag it give it in your documentation section what how about you can do is simply click on add in your chat and then click on docs and click on add new and then click on this click on add and then simply next yes documentation and simply click on confirm. I have already added Next.js next documentation, so I don't need to, but you can simply click on confirm and it will actually scrape all of the all of the pages and all of the sections from there and add everything here. So that means now everything that is there, all of the best practices to develop Next.js applications, all of the routing best practices, all of the latest updates, every single thing that is mentioned in this documentation is going to be, I mean, Cursor has access to that directly inside Cursor. So so uh, locally it has access to that so i mean uh, it got everything there ready and set up for you so uh, other than that let's suppose you are going to use mongodb so mongodb documentation so why do we need to do that because cursor uh, as any other uh, ai um, tool or ai models cursor does uh, hallucinate so uh, you need to make sure that you provide all of this information uh, locally so cursor can actually understand everything um, so mongodb and i just click on confirm mongodb this already exists so mongodb documentation already exists so you can just like add it with a different name so you can just click on confirm and it will add mongodb documentation and any other thing that you're going to use maybe you are going to use firebase so you can just add firebase documentation all of these documentations all of these things that you're going to use you need to add all of that or maybe if you're going to use shared cn most other people use shared cn so you can simply add shared cn documentation right here so cursor will have then like cursor will uh, 
this will actually save you lots and lots of time and it will save you a lot of errors a lot of bugs a lot of hallucination and uh Cursor won't won't waste your time uh, i mean it will just straight to the point it will just uh, do everything for you so yeah uh next thing that we can use that, that you can do is actually set rules for ai so you can just like uh, again just like cursor um uh, sorry here it is uh this one cursor rules file that we created just uh, i think a minute ago so Yeah, the cursor rules file that you created so you can uh yeah here it is so this is actually the same cursor rules file um you can actually add rules for ai here you can add any rules that you need so include cursor rules file so you can simply check on that or not so you can add separate rules here and then you can add dot cursor rules file here or you can just like check off but i just recommend you like adding that so that that means anything that you mention inside the rules file or anything that you mention here rules for ai will be mentioned directly inside cursor so yeah that's very very helpful uh next you can actually um use uh different uh ai models if you are using the pro version that you must be using the pro version so i recommend you using uh cloud 3.5 be so far the best 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 code that cursor writes is uh in cloud 3.5 so i highly highly recommend you uh doing that uh next step that you can do is actually simply um consult multiple ai tools when stuck so whenever you are stuck you can um so as, as i recommend that you can uh do with uh, uh cloud whenever you are stuck whenever you are like uh, stuck in some error like right let's suppose right now i have these three errors so uh, if you if cloud is unable to for resolve that you can simply add gpt 4.0 and different ai models actually have different approaches and different kind of reasoning to solve different errors so they can actually all of these uh, ai models have different different uh, kind of reasoning so they can actually help you to solve your errors um with a different approach so it's always it's, it's just like consulting a different developer uh, and every single developer have a different approach to solve certain errors so it's, it's just like that so uh, other than that i uh, think next is start with a template yeah i would i will i will recommend you to uh, whenever like uh you are going to let's suppose if you have just started uh creating apps in next.js i highly highly recommend you uh creating your own template or your own boilerplate because those kind of things actually save you so much time in setting up the basic project if you if you want to use uh, uh like an external third party template so i recommend you using there is a sas starter kit uh, you can use that um uh, Uh, i think it's it's on github i'll actually share that link um, in 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 description you can find it there you can use something like this this is a saas starter kit everything set up for you already or if you have if you want to spend some money on it uh, you can buy something like this i think this one is uh, for 87 pounds uh, but i mean you can you can just like uh, uh, maybe like use something like this or something like ship fast you can use something like this again this is these are the expensive uh, ways but i what i recommend you i highly highly recommend you uh, that you develop your own uh, starter kit your own boilerplate so you know uh, where your code is you know each and everything about your code so you can actually uh, make modifications directly without wasting any more time so yeah i highly highly recommend you either develop your own boilerplate or use someone else uh next thing is actually learning approach so ask cursor to explain code whenever it's unclear so let's suppose if there is a certain line of code that you are not uh, aware of so you can just like click on that and you can simply click on um either a control shift l so the, by clicking on control shift l it, it will actually add it directly into chat and you can ask about this line of code that i don't understand what this code is, the code does and uh please explain this was please explain what this code does so it will actually explain what this code does let me just move it so it's just going to explain so yeah so uh, you can simply just ask like that and it will uh, like go through the, that code and then give you proper kind of a reasoning that what this code does so it will give you like a detailed description for each and everything uh and next thing is actually context yeah so giving context to cursor composer especially so if you are using cursor composer always 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 use cursor composer you can use cursor chat whenever there is something like you need to some something to like explain otherwise i'll highly highly recommend you to open cursor composer how you can do that simply control shift i just click on that and now 
write here uh, the requirements document you can simply just like all of the requirements that you created in uh, in chat gpt right here you can simply add it here and you have added it here so now you your requirements uh, notepad you can if you just want to create a new one simply click on a new one new requirements and just create a new requirements document add your a new requirements here and um, modify change something that you want to change and then now come to cursor composer and in inside cursor composer uh, just tag that requirements new requirements let's suppose and then mention things here and then uh, cursor composer will have a better context about your project and about your requirements and that will it will actually create better code and uh, it will try to avoid all of those errors that you can potentially have um, again uh, you can add uh, different kind of documentations here and all of these documentation you can add here while you are asking something uh, from cursor composer so try to add as much context as possible before asking it to do something so i think yeah this was it uh, i can share uh, this file with you if you want uh, otherwise i think this was this was kind of it um, and that's it um, just let me know if you have any question just leave it in comment and i can actually uh, answer you directly over there see you next video bye, -bye.